Hello everybody, this is Reaper835 and welcome to my channel. Today I'm playing Call of Cthulhu, so I hope you enjoy. Well, let's do this. So <coughs> that's Stairs. That's big. That's big, but reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go. She is waiting. I'm going. You don't see me walking. Can't run. Conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, uh, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity no one wants to see such an unbearable sight you don't have the slightest idea of what you speak of what I've been through I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps my marriage my family my own flesh why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So you decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. You rejected her half-truths.
Okay, it's getting more interesting. Oh, places. Lots of Oh, there real quick. Almost there. A little closer. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
Good, it's finally over with. I don't know what any levels of Joe's anyway, but I'm glad it's finally over with. I don't think there's going to be any extra stuff I've created, so I'm just going to quit. <laughs> or, wait a minute. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. Well, that's it for the video, so thanks for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later.